University of Hawaii trying to move forward with plans to resurface the Warrior football team's practice field. UH awarded the nearly $900,000 contract to RMY Construction last month, but was met by two protests from two other bidders. The other bidders claim, claim RMY does not have the proper licenses to install the new turf at Clarence Ching Field and are still trying to prevent RMY from doing it. Koha Builders will get a hearing with the State Department of Commerce over the issue later this month. UH officials say the State Licensing Board made a recommendation for the license but the, does not require it. And the Warriors' first home game is tomorrow, and for many of you, that means heading to Aloha Stadium. All parking gates at the stadium will open at 2.30 in the afternoon, except for the Lower Halava Gate, which opens at 1.30. The Lower Halava Gate accommodates around 1,500 vehicles. In addition, parking at the inner circle of the stadium, reserved for UH Athletics this year. People parking in that area need a special placard and ID. Kickoff of the UH Weber State game, scheduled for 6.05. How's it going? Good morning, everybody. Tomorrow night, Warrior football team looks for victory number one of the 2008 season, opening their home schedule against the Wildcats of Weber State. Now, the big story heading into the ball game in Halava is that junior Inoki Funaki will get the start at quarterback. Kahuku grad went 8 of 11 for 110 yards passing, one touchdown and one interception in Hawaii's 56 to 10 loss to Florida last week. Funaki, described by quarterbacks coach Nick Rolovich as the ultimate team player, even has the confidence of former Warrior wingman, two-time WAC Player of the Year, and current Washington Redskins quarterback, Cole Brennan. You know, I, I've known Anoki now for three years. He's put in so much time and effort, and, you know, he's always been just such a great person, and I know that he really deserves this opportunity. And um, I'm actually glad to see Anoki is going to finally get his shot. He's been a hard worker. You know, he's got that natural ability to make plays and to do things. Uh, Anoki is going to be a great – it'll be real interesting to watch Anoki, you know, progress over these next couple of weeks. Warriors are 0-1, Wildcats 1-0, UH holding an eight-game win streak in Halava. This will be the very first meeting between these two schools. Kickoff set for 6.05 at a low. Good evening, everybody. After the fallout in Florida, the UH football team is ready to begin its homestand at the Aloha Stadium. But tomorrow's game will also be a homecoming for a number of Weber State players, including its star quarterback, St. Louis grad Cameron Higgins. I don't think we really win the physical battle. I think we, the way we're gonna, we have to win is just by scheme. It's a mind game, all right. The Wildcats are one double-A squad on the road. Luckily for them, Cameron Higgins knows the Aloha Stadium well. It's where he played as a crusader. Last year as a freshman, Higgins threw for nearly 2,000 yards and 17 touchdowns for Weber State. I've watched him on film, and he's really good, and I had the opportunity to uh, get to know his younger brother, the one that's playing over at St. Louis right now. There seems to be a mutual respect between UHQB Inoki Funaki and Higgins. Oh, I looked up to Inoki when I was little. Just he was my idol, man. Just he was, he's he's good. The Kahuku grad is now a role model at UH. Tomorrow marks his first start as a Warrior in three years. I have a pretty good idea of what goes on on the field and just try to execute what the coaches tell me and whatnot. Coach Ron McBride will have Weber State running. Junior Trevin Smith ranks fourth for the Wildcats in career rushing yards. Every team has, has a different demeanor. I mean, uh, they're, they're a whole lot different team than Florida was. I mean, they really try to uh, run it down your throat. Weber State's overall record against teams currently in the WAC is 27 and 66. Liz Chun, KGMB 9 Sports. And the first ever meeting between Hawaii and Weber State is scheduled to get started at 6.05 this Saturday night. A pair of former Warrior quarterbacks made their debut for Navy today. Ken Nui Matololo, the first Samoan to become a Division I coach, and offensive coordinator Ivan Jasper. But on just their second play from scrimmage, Ball State's Brian Loves makes a 62-yard trip for six, and the Cardinal goes up 7-zip. Navy would make a comeback without QB, without Pop Kapolei grad, Kaiponoa Kahiaku and Hata, who's nursing a bum leg, but they would eventually fall 35-7. City of Hawaii football fans gearing up for the first home game of the season. Mariella David tonight with what you need to know about the home opener against Weber State as far as traffic and parking goes. All parking gates at Aloha Stadium open at 2.30 p.m. except the lower Halava lot, which opens at 1.30 p.m. New this season, all inner circle parking is off limits to the public. It'll be reserved for UH Athletics. To help the university support their uh, student athlete scholarship fund. You will need a permit in order to get into that inner, inner circle. You will have to have that hanging from your rear mirror. As for alternate parking sites, Ford Island, 
Cam Drive-In, Leeward Community College, and Radford High School all open at 2.30 p.m. except Ford Island, which opens at 3. Parking is free at Leeward Community College. All the others charge $5 per vehicle. Shuttle service is available except at Radford High. All four alternate parking sites offer free access to the Aloha Zone, the stadium's tailgate party. We're adding a, a, a Carnival tent to provide some shade and comfort. Uh, we should still have the same accommodations with entertainment uh, activities as well as monitors to catch the latest um, games that are being played during that day. Also new this season, Football Express, operated by the bus, is no longer running due to a new federal law. To make up for the loss, several local transportation companies have teamed up to offer motor coach service to and from Aloha Stadium. In Halava, Mariela David, K5 News. As for the team coming off that road loss at the hands of fifth-rated Florida, the Warriors kick off the home season against Weber State out of Utah. The team arrived yesterday and beelined it directly to Aloha Stadium. It's a familiar setting for 10 Wildcat players who still call Hawaii home, but now a testament, they say, to Coach right Mack. Not position. Hawaii coach Greg McMacken, but Weber State head coach Ron McBride. Uh, coach Mack, you know, he like he likes the Polynesian guys, the Hawaii, the Hawaii kids and stuff, and he just makes them feel feel at home and stuff like that if guys don't really get a shot at UH or he's he's there for you. The former University of Utah head coach has recruited Hawaii players since the mid 60s and Hawaii head coach Greg McMacken once served as one of his assistants. Bottom line he knows Hawaii and Hawaii's brand of athletes. They're natural for the game I mean it's just it's something that's natural to them you know I mean they just they like contact they like competition they like they like to hit somebody, you know, so it's a natural form. And, they, and the, the kids are great kids. One of those kids he remembers all too well is Inoki Funaki. Coach McBride remembers seeing him play for Kahuku. Now several years removed from the Red Raider days, Funaki stands poised to make his first career start as a warrior. I've been here a couple of years now, and still there's a lot of things, you know, that I need to get better at. And But overall, I, I have a... Pretty good idea of what goes on on the field and uh, you know I just got to go out there and just try to execute what the coaches tell me and whatnot and just trust what they tell me. Kickoff for the game 605 tomorrow night at the stadium. If you can't make it to the game it'll be live on Oceana Cable pay-per-view. There will also be a rebroadcast of the game here on K5 the home team Sunday morning at 10 a.m. The sound of drums, the playing of Hawaii 5 the sound of helmets smacking against pads. Finally the sound at Aloha Stadium will be there and the crowd will hear it. The Warrior football home opener goes down tomorrow night with the loss to fifth ranked Florida. Now behind them, the Warriors will host Weber State, a team that put up 62 points last week and sports 10 local boys. The Warriors, though, are still trying to find out what they're made of and the rest of us will find out right along with them tomorrow night. You know, they're coming to play and we know they have a lot of local guys, you know, that are going to come back, you know, come over here and try to, you know, try to win in front of, you know, their family. You know, there's like a, it's like a homecoming for them. So, you know, they're going to play their, they're going to play their butts off and, you know, we just got to be ready for them. Just take what they give you and eventually other things will open up and just try not to force things, you know, and I think the main thing, you know, stress on uh, turnovers and whatnot and just, uh, because we have a great defense, you know, and we got to help them out and try to keep them off the field and keep the ball moving, if anything, you know. I know a lot about the UH team. I know how good they will be. And so uh, there's no question in my mind what they are. So uh, the question in my mind is, well, what are we? Just physical game. It's going to be kind of like a chess match, I think, you know. I don't think we really win the physical battle. I think we, the way we're gonna, we have to win is just by scheme and just concepts and hopefully we'll beat them that way. Warriors and Wildcats go down tomorrow. Kickoff is set for 6.05 in Hawaii.